we migrated to Canada in 1986 and have raised up my children in Canada, worked as financial advisor, and in 2006, we returned back to the Philippines, working as peace worker, and established a social enterprise called Coffee for Peace. My husband and I wanted to give back to our country. We decided to go back to the Philippines, but not in Manila, but we went to Mindanao. We have no relatives there. We have no friends. We put a peace house, and that peace house, we served coffee. We invited the rebel, we invited the military, and we just want to listen. And we said, no guns allowed in the peace house. Migration can be considered as a useful uh, strategy for doing business in the country because uh, most of these uh, people who have gone abroad were able to bring back the best practices uh, that they have experienced and uh, seen there in uh, their places of assignment. I hire people because they are willing to learn about this mission that we are doing. So most of them are out of school youth, no experience, no job experience, and I basically have to train them. Cooking, barista, I, I enroll them for barista training so that they would learn. With the farmers, I have to train them on what the market are expecting from the kind of coffee they wanted. And with the training that we have provided from processing coffee, we integrated our peace building course that my husband created. So we teach them peace and reconciliation, conflict management, um, conflict resolution. We were assisted by other local agencies like uh, Department of Trade and Industries and other international NGOs who has connection with Specialty Coffee Association. And through them, the farmers has an avenue to go to Seattle and brought their coffee. So that brought confidence to the farmers. And when they go back home, powerful story. One part of my dream that the farmers will be able to go outside the Philippines and showcase their coffee. We support social enterprises here because uh, in most cases, these are also becoming to be our partners here uh, in the provision of our various interventions. Some organizations provide capital, others provide the market, and others simply just uh, give them all the opportunities that they need. So they can promote, advertise, and do what other uh, perhaps uh, support services that these individuals need from us. Starting a coffee shop, it's a business. I don't know how to do registering your business here in the Philippines and all the things that you needed. So I have to grab whatever opportunity that I can to get training. ESIP offered acceleration program. The Innovation for Social Impact Partnership Project is a development program that actually aims to support social enterprises in the Philippines uh, to be able to contribute to the acceleration and achievement of the UN Sustainable Development Goals or the SDGs. I pitched and there were several of us that pitched to them why we, we should be accepted by ESIP. Thank God I was picked. We provided a year of support, which uh, includes mentoring, um, also investor roundtables. We also provided them entrepreneurship lectures and workshops or learning sessions. We also did uh, pitch karaoke for them to kind of train them how to talk, how to pitch in a very concise way. ISIP gave me that space to learn and to journey, and then they have created a program wherein I could follow 
um, and see the progress of my business. We have a big number of population that are working overseas. A good number of them are coming back also for certain reasons. And that is what is now being uh, focused on by our government, how to reintegrate these uh, uh, individuals who have worked for a long time in overseas countries and then coming back. I migrated to a place where I have never been before, Mindanao. What am I? A migrant of Mindanao. Citizen of the world. <laughs>